Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Saving Your Disaster came run, uh, campaign running out of steam. Wow, that is difficult. And uh, it is potentially one of the worst ones that we have had so far. Lots of losses in between due to uh, just no supplies, no mad kits, no mimic beacons, nothing. And poorly skilled soldiers. So... We're finally kind of on the uptrend. Two of the Chosens are dead. We are getting their weapons. I'm getting a Mimic Beacon soon. We already have a med kit. And once the training facility is there, boy oh boy will we train like there's no man, that's no man's business. But until then, we need more scientists. And uh, this is going to be a very difficult mission where I assume I'm going to run into the uh, Archon King. So I'm thinking about who to take here and I think uh, the uh, core idea would be to get uh, the standard four. We have unfortunately too many tired soldiers so we need to take someone who is tired. And uh, we will use Nightwalker and Striker in order to uh, somewhat carry this mission. Very difficult means very difficult, so something is going to wait for us in this mission. Something ugly. Alright. Thank you. That is helpful. Before we're moving too far, let's first of all go here. And as a consequence of not spotting out anything, let's move to here. Again, nothing. That is interesting. All right, no moves over here. Place. Got a group of hostiles over here. More vipers means uh, that we have the possibility of uh, finally getting more nanomed kits. So I Attention. like that. They move towards a remote startable object. That would be fantastic. I'm on the move. Moving closer. No, 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 no. Mm. Ah, the game is not helping us moving as ordered there's an alien patrol nearby good um Look, we want to be careful here. Getting it done. That tower is definitely annoying. What's our chance of hacking? Potentially not that great because it's a low level specialist and we don't have level three yet. Ooh, ooh, distraction uh, versus reinforcements. Hmm. Recovering of all points, so that can be a lifesaver. Mm. 
but I think what we're going to do is we're taking the high ground here, taking this high ground. Striker is moving all the way up to there. And we are moving around. Still okay on the time, uh, from a time perspective. We have plenty of rounds left over. like a yes to me 12 points of damage is a lot Moving out. moves up oh barely out of range okay I see how it is okay well In that case, let's begin our journey. I am wondering if we double whammy this just for good measure. Hmm, nah, it's potentially a bit too much. Crypto gives himself a protocol. And then we're going to start. death from above oh interesting and a little bit of that I wanted a crit unfortunate Good, high ground and kill it. Yeah, I didn't get it. All right, shadow bound. That storm unfortunately goes into lightning reflexes, get it together. but there is the shadow bound. Complete shocker for everyone here. That's okay. We don't need to deal with them right away. what I'm fine with uh, killing this guy unfortunately we don't have death from above my life is in your hands they have a patrol moving here 
All right, there. That's where the actual problems start. Good. Um, I like the high ground. I like that we can hack right away. Can't unfortunately hack all the way around the corner. Moving on target location. Moving overwatch forward. here. Can't overwatch there. Reload overwatch. And oh, overwatch with Hound Dog. Surprise, right? All of a sudden, you're running, trying to catch us out. Alright, this should not destroy um, the actual wagon, so no damage for us, but it should remove the cover. On a positive note though, it should also give us the chance to remotely hack, which it apparently does not. There is another pack here, so I don't want to risk being uh, spot it out. Heading to that location. Instead, we're Target going to take the safe, uh, the safe approach, which is there now. move as close as possible. Can we hack? Nope, we cannot yet hack, but that is okay. Orders confirmed, on the move. Carefully moving on. And maybe we're eliminating the specter. Yep, we are. Great. Okay, decent positioning, decent uh, mm, utilization of the map to our advantage. Things are actually working out uh, very well. That's my trigger. It does not. But what it does is, it allows us to hack the chest. Getting some more supplies, which is exactly what we need at this point. It also means that our Reaper retains its uh, concealment. Just double checking that there is no one behind the corner. There is not. And we are blocking. That way they can't find us. And let's get a bit of a firing line going. 
I think this here is a de it's actually a decent firing line. Getting a bit closer. We're just going to pistol overwatch. I don't want to trigger All them right. with a distant go. overwatch. overwatch. Okay, and we're good. Next turn we're going to pull back and I'm we're ready. using this here as our quote unquote last stand. This pack has not yet uh, started to move up. I will go. This is a very solid 12 points uh, of damage start. It is also one where our sniper can finally use the long watch ability. Target Lovely. Move up. Move back. Overwatch. Overwatches. On the move. Better position over Overwatch. here. And we're good. Priest moves in. Uh, mind control. Oh, it's stupid. Get out of my head. Has taken, but uh, has taken us over, uh, including, including the Overwatch, which is nasty. An easy way to solve this problem is <laughs> missing a 99% frostbite. Okay, yep, that is indeed a a very easy way of solving it. Good job, Saiken. Good job. Okay, we'll keep our distance. Listen, I know that I need to use a plasma grenade here. But why do? Why does this here need to happen? I also know that the moment that I move, we're going to have a bit of a problem. Ninety-nine percent frostbite missed. I could pistol shot, or I can just take the damage. I think we're just going to take the damage. Which is going to be eight points. Oh, ouch. Of course, we're hitting the one time that it really matters. Remove cover. Dodged. Okay. Getting that priest. And let's heal our body. <sighs> Unnecessary stress that no one needs. 
because uh, the game really doesn't want you to hit. I will reposition. Next uh, pack is moving in and this is going to be very, very, very painful. Of course, the sanctipod you miss, but the soldier, your own soldier, you have absolutely no issue with uh, hitting. Sure, bro, sure. No, no, no. All right. Listen. We all know. That a grenade is necessary. So that will already help us. Sector port is definitely the main target. I think our... Reaper had shredding. Yep, did have shredding. Reloading, and it's time for banish. There is no way that this is not going to be a banish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost down. Cool. Uh, we do have, yeah, we do have a hundred percent chance to kill. Reaper gets the eight protocol because they will be mostly under fire, and we will destroy the sector port. Very good. Next up. Heavy Mac. Hard target, minimal damage. And we are going to run and gun. Oh, there is yet another soldier, I see. We are going to position ourselves here. Trooper burns and crit. That's a kill, right? Yep, that's a kill. The burning will uh, kill him. Into the mech. Good job. Untouchable unlocked. Closing on target position now. Off to full cover. And let's molest the priest. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that was great. Okay, listen, I mean, for the pack size and just the immense amount of hit points that we needed to deal with, that was good. That was really good. Luckily for us, these guys are positioning in a way where a remote start is almost inevitably the best choice. This will be big. Confirm. Moving up. Shield bearer. Uh, almost. We're green to go. Shield bearer. What do we got here? Uh, 
there we go. Nice. Shouldn't trigger anything. And that should be it. I was actually thinking uh, we are fighting against uh, the Archon, but it was just very difficult because there was a sector pod, uh, pack and a few others. But if you play the map correctly, there is uh, nothing to be afraid of. Good. Look, we got ourselves into a good position here. Having already surpassed some of our other soldiers' capability. Superior autoloader, that's great. Repeater isn't bad either. And Caleb Sullivan. Stephanie Fisher, what are your trades? Um, cautious and Stephanie Fisher, obsessive. Oh yeah, the obsessive reloader is bad, but I think Zulu here had uh, had uh, fear of Max, didn't she? Um, teamwork. No, someone else had fear of Max. Who was it? No. No. Was it the Reaper? No. A sharpshooter? Maybe. Fanfire, teamwork, come on. Maybe it was Mama Bear and uh, with her dying that also solved the problem i don't know you know what i'm going to take the supplies because we need more money <coughs> we definitely need more the results of our breakthroughs were quite fascinating Finally, cannons plus one damage, that's great. We're going to go for assassin weapons next, of course. Got the school jack, and with the school jack we can reduce the avatar progress. Is there anything else we could do here? I mean, we can plaster that with experimental ammunition. Might as well. A war suit would also go a long way. A war suit would also go a long way. Um, Resistance communication seven more days. <sighs> Holy smokes! Why does it take so long? Good. Finally, we got a promotion. Do we have another promotion here? Dodge plus 10 is good. Reduction of avatar progress is very good. Um, we could also go for him. Which is not the worst idea. Might as well. Get some low level soldiers leveled up. I don't mind the ambush if uh, one is happening. We really didn't have many other good options. The uh, dodge plus 10 was good, but um, not that great. Okay, you are our new highest. Um, heavy so you're going to get superior perception because heavies are not good at aiming and I very much hope that 
That was a good investment of our time. Lieutenant Grenadier. Bondmate of Caleb, who is a specialist. Ah, not perfect. The Mama Bear Bondmate with um, our with our Templar was much better, but yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes you just can't uh, win at all. So, we got 250 supplies, that's good. I already know what we're going to do with that. Um, for sure, we're going to build a Mimic Beacon. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. There you go. And there is another Nano Med Kit directly purchasing. And it's not even a thought. Good. Things are looking better. Very soon the next supply drop happens. Um, let's do this. And we're continuing to just excavate to get uh, material. I don't know why the guy didn't do it. Um, oh, it's really, th th this campaign was lost on the strategy layer 100%, not on the tactical one. The tactical one just suffered as a consequence of poor choices. Resistance comes very soon and I want to build a training center, but I need the monies in order to do it. So where do we get the monies? Um, in a day, I'm getting it. An urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Your progress against the aliens over the past month has been significant, Commander. But there is still room to improve if we are going to eliminate the alien threat. I was good. Good. Uh, still not recruiting. Not yet. I think we're fine with what we got. More supplies, which we can get soon, but let's get the big fat supply first. And then we're also starting training center, which by the way, should have been there so, so long ago. It's a bit of a waste to put it on um, on a um, energy node, but yeah, we... Um, good. It's a bit, like I said, a shame to put it here on a shielded power coil. The training center, very important. Free that up. And build it. And very soon we can move and expand. Next up, black market. Always check it. We have plenty of intel. I would want to buy a high level soldier if possible. A high level grenadier would be the finest of the fine uh, options. Is open. Uh, no. Not good. Superior scope. That is good. But the rest is shite. Good. What else uh, should we do? What can I do for you, Commander? In terms of building stuff, fusion blade is a good upgrade. Shouldn't not uh, shouldn't uh, prevent us from getting that. Um, and uh, we are, I think, finally having enough money to build a war suit or ref uh, suit a war suit. But we need more Illyrium. Um, we might be able to buy that. There we go. And let's go for a war suit. 
Advanced explosives aren't bad either. Now we're going for the war suit. Got enough power, so we're okay. Mm, let's do this here. Okay. Good, just trying to grab as much power as we can at the moment. And um, we already figured out we wanted to get more supplies. Let's sell something. Don't need that repeater. Good. Now let's do the radio relay. Our double scan uh, speed has, by the way, just... Uh, went off so we're no longer uh, we're no longer able to scan fast fantastic put an engineer in here gives us enough for now we actually don't need an engineer right now because we are not at the maximum so it's a bit more efficient to continue excavating. I have made a number of interesting decisions. Finally. Commander. Modular bulb hubs, uh, not bad. I think we should go for it. I agree. Specifically since there is not so much else we can do at the moment. Wounded during the latest covert action, but after a few days' rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. All right, so what do we have as an option? Recover loot, mobility, new ability points, and dodge. That's not bad. Promotion is what we want. Rescue a soldier, it's corporal, so. But you have a promotion on top of it. Well, it's actually not too bad. Get a promotion here as well. There are a few promotions which I like. Unlock a mission. That just unlocks the mission. But we could get a corporal i don't know what cr who cross vemo is but i'm shocked of how many uh, of how many soldiers apparently have been captured uh let's start with the easier one we want a promotion here grenadier gets the further promotion does it with his friend together and we're taking one of you guys. All right, easy peasy. Get one more promotion going. Good, next up, no more negative trait removal, why? Oh, because the one person with a negative trait is on a covered ops mission. Good job, Saiken. Well done. That's how you do it. We're reading you. Good. We're now at 500 supplies, which is good. Making contact, which is fantastic. Got more contact options. And with that, we are freeing up and putting Dawn here. We're then making contact for 160 into. Yep, yep, all good. 
and unfortunately what we cannot yet do is make contact there we need 200 uh, supplies for that all right off we go to the black market don't want to waste any more time because live fire trading is the key to unlock this campaign i want the continent bonus and i'm willing to put in a lot of stuff for that We bought Elarium Crystals, which was good uh, because that allowed us to almost get 200. There we go. We're completely empty on Alois and Elarium Crystals, but that just increases the chance of them spawning. So I purposefully am keeping low on those resources. We're close to the Avatar project. Finishing. Nice. AP rounds, that's helpful. And uh, this is the game telling us you get a lost mission. So that's a smash and grab mission. Uh, where you can also gain supplies, intel, uh, supplies, Elarium and Alloys. That's, matter of fact, a fantastic mission for us at the moment. If you look at our armory, very soon we go are going to have another captain uh, with our grenadier. Uh, the grenadier then will uh, continue to get another promotion to major, so I'm kind of pushing a grenadier all the way up here. And at the same time, we already do have two colonels, uh, which is great. So need to uh, work on the remaining majors. Captain uh, Sharpshooter here. Is, uh, things aren't uh, looking that grim anymore. Things are actually looking a little bit better for us. Um, with the upgraded uh, chosen weapons, we do have another ace up our sleeves. We also got a Mimic Beacon uh, now, which is good. And if we look at the resistance ring, we're going to get uh, this here which is a promotion plus a potential corporal uh, soldier. No clue who this is going to be, but uh, it's another small mission. Um, yeah, and I think there was another promotion here with the location of the stronghold, if I'm not mistaken. So if we play our cards right, uh, the Grenadier might as well go all the way up to um, to colonel rank which would be funny because that would be the fastest promotion ever um yeah it's looking good uh we then get the continent bonus and it and uh in 12 days when we do have um, the next month i think that is when the campaign will officially be saved uh, because we then will get um rookies for 15 uh, for 15 supplies uh, thanks to a change in the resistance orders and then with those rookies what we uh, can do is we can train them in the guerrilla tactics school all the way up to uh, sergeant level and then uh, then i would say the campaign is definitely saved um, but in order to do that you know, we still need to do a couple more missions and uh, hopefully then the campaign will look better thanks for watching i appreciate your viewership as always and if you want to support the channel leave a comment and a like down below and see you on the next episode bye bye